Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how to switch between launchers on the Samsung Galaxy S5. So, as you can see, I already have a custom launcher loaded up. This one specifically is called Nova Launcher, which is pretty nice because they've now added a lollipop theme to it. So, you're getting that kind of 5.0 lollipop feel without having the, uh, the whole OS yet. So, anyways, let me show you how to get in. It's pretty simple. All you have to do is go to your settings, which you can also access through your uh, apps menu. So scroll down all the way to the bottom. Now, traditionally you would go into Application Manager and clear out defaults, um, which on Samsung's model you still can. So if, say for instance, you, this is Nova Launcher. Come down to the app and scroll a little bit further and clear defaults. And that will clear out anything um, that has been set. So yeah, as you can see, this set to open um, as some default applications so or actions. So basically it's set, so when I hit the home, it goes there. But to make it even easier for switching, let's back out and go to default applications. And they've added a nice little tab right here at top it's called home. As you can see, Nova Launcher is already selected, but if I want to go back to the original TouchWiz home, switch it, it tells me to hit the home button and I'm back into the standard TouchWiz home. So you can see that the uh, wallpaper stayed the same. That seems to be what happens. Whatever wallpaper you choose is gonna go across all the launchers you want, but it's a nice handy feature because you can load up several different launchers and try them out to see which one you like the best before really settling on one. And then it saves all your settings of where um, where you've had your apps or things like that. If you have widgets set up, all of that stays so you don't have to worry about having to set up your device every single time. So it's kind of cool. Almost gives you a feel of having multiple devices in one little setup. So that's how you do it. If you have any questions, comments, feel free to leave them down below. If you like what I'm doing here for you, make sure to give me that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, thanks for watching.